Today we're, we're reviewing Scotto's Pizza in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Had great reviews. Start with a slice. Oh shit, look at that cheese as it pulls. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Need a already. Okay. This might be one of those ones you have to hold a nap. Alright. Like the uh, cheese is gonna fall off. It did. Mm. It fell off. We got four and a half. Of course you got four and a half. New York style, obviously. If you're not falling in half, it's not from New York. Yeah. That's a good fucking pizza right there. Yeah. Damn, why is it so close to us? <laughs> Trying to eat a fucking pizza here, guy. Wow. I like first bite into it. The dough has a great flavor. It's super thin, but it's not like it's not soggy. It's nothing's like Seep it through that bottom. <clears throat> that, you hear that? That's a good crust. It's like, it's got a very great texture, but it's still thin. It's still like, you know, you can still get that fold. It's not burnt even a little. It's like the perfect cook. You know, and, and that, that just looks, looks like a fucking piece of pizza you would see out of the movies, you know? Like, reminds you of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. Which is always the holy grail of pizzas. It's just like... I'm biting into it. There's so much flavor. And it looks super greasy like when you open the box. But it's not at all. It's really not even greasy. And... Wow. That's incredible. It really is. The sauce, even if you just take a little bit of sauce, there's so much flavor in it, and it doesn't taste like canned sauce either, like jarred sauce. It tastes like you get the the canned um, tomatoes and actually like simmer, like you know, reduce that down. And yeah, that ain't out of a bag like Pizza Hut, honey. No, no, mm -hmm. that's um. I don't know if you can see in there. Look at that. Look, look at the... It's airy. All that airy. It's... It's so light. Good. This is one of those pizzas where... Like... If you're watching a movie and you see people in New York and you're like craving that specific fucking movie pizza. That, this is what I'm going to call this. This is movie pizza. This is movie pizza. Right? I'm eating the whole piece. I'm eating the whole piece. Crush it all. Obviously. I mean, it has to be done. Yeah, he usually doesn't eat crust, so the must be done. Surprised are right here in this like little plaza, but. And I'm also like surprised on a Sunday. There's like not a lot going on here because like. If people know about this fucking pizza, how are you not here getting this? <laughs> it's by Rena Center and PA Botanicals, which seems like a disservice <laughs> for this famous pizza. I mean, literally, famous Scotto's famous pizza is in the name. And hearing that, you're like, ah, how famous are you, really, bitch? But you get here and you eat that pizza, you're like, <laughs> Yeah, I can see why it's fucking famous. Open it up. 
apparently they had a location in the Shenango Valley Mall in the 80s and the 90s. Mm -hmm. And then they expanded over here. Yeah. So they still have those returning customers from back in the day. That's great. And well, they just got new ones. They did just, they got two new ones right now. Mm -hmm. um, and all I can say is, I worked in the, out in this area, and I've never heard anybody talk about this. And I feel like that's kind of crazy, because I had always heard about Hometown Pizzeria, which, you know, this is not Hometown's Time to Shine, but it is a great fucking pizza. Um, and I've heard about uh, Four Star. Well, Four Star actually made me let them, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they made themselves known when they delivered coupons at the place I worked at at one point. They have and, themselves yeah, and I tried them out. They're fucking amazing, too. So I don't know if it's just something about this Hermitage, Sharpsville area, but you guys got great fucking food out here. Way better than anywhere in Trumbull County. That's Way better. Right. So, all right, so we also got a Stromboli, which... This is the Philly. Is with, a, with no mushrooms, unfortunately, but, you know, somebody doesn't like them, so... No, I don't like fucking fungi in my mouth. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, man. I want to sauce. start talking Italian on here. Sauce on the side. Sauce on the side. You know what? Let's do this. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Uh, am I allowed to say that? Probably not allowed to say that. Know. I think it's probably trademarked. That's trademarked, huh? Glad it thought out. Um, Got to try a bite without sauce, though. Shit's hot. Mmm. Mmm, God. Mm. Wow. Holy shit. Great flavor. Yes. The peppers and the onions, you can tell that they cooked them down, like sauteed them. Unlike a certain place that I had in Ohio recently where they just threw raw shit in there. This is very flavorful. And it's just, again, look at look at that. Look at the perfect crust. Look at the, the juices. Look at the juices. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, buddy. You know, I like your juicy. <laughs> That's good. There's not a goddamn thing I like in my life dry. Other than my balls. No, I don't <laughs> even like my balls dry. I don't even like my balls dry. I like them bitches a little moist, too. cheap Philly stuff either. No, it actually tastes like steak. I mean, yeah, it tastes like steak. Let's try it with some sauce. Steak. I'll be it's, honest. It does seem like it has a little bit of sauce on the inside. I think that's the juices. Yeah, it's the juice. I'll be honest. Scottos, when you're ordering a Philly, we don't need this. I don't need that, okay? Let me tell you why. Is that bitch dripping? You see that dripping? You don't need no fucking... I mean, I like it. You don't need no sauce. I don't like it with the sauce. I think it just is a kind of a disservice. I was... Like, maybe... Maybe something like, um... Some kind of, like, spicy sriracha mayo ranch kind of concoction. Um, would be good with this. It almost... They would never in there. It would. They would never do I'm that. okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's good. It's definitely good. All in all, what are your ratings for this? Um, the pizza. 8.5. 8 8.5. No, that's a little high. 8.2. I go 8.2 on the pizza. Like a, like a solid 8-2. And on the Stromboli, like an 8-1. This is one of the better Strombolis that I've had. So I gotta give like a, I gotta give the Stromboli a 9 for what it is. Okay. okay. I feel like it's a little high, but I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Um, pizza, 8.5, 8. I say. It's delicious. It, it was great pizza. I would say overall experience at Scotto's though, it's like a, it's like a 9. 
it's like a nine overall because you walk in there you smell the fucking food you know they got the 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 regular cheese fucking pizza and I, I, what i thought was really smart about that is they're like i have the cheese ready whatever toppings you want you just tell me i throw them on there i don't even think he charged the guys for, for the extra toppings i think he just charged them the slice price and um you know i don't know it, it, i like fucking places where they're not like Super customer servicey, where they're like fucking killing you with like the like Chick Fil A, you know, like I, you don't really be that nice to me. Like kind of, you know, tell me to fuck off a little bit. I kind of like that, that, you know. He's like, see you later. Yeah, see, get the fuck out of here. See you later. Get the fuck out of here. He didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. But that's what he meant. He said, get the fuck out of here. It's not what he said, but I, I like that kind of disposition because they don't need to fucking kiss your ass. They know they're making a good fucking product. You're gonna want to eat it. You're gonna want to like it. Um, so overall, Scotto's at at. Hermitage uh, fucking State Street Plaza here by Renaissance Center. It's a fucking nine, man. Come try, try this place out.